Hey guys, it's your girl, Issa, please. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not your girl. I'm nobody's girl. <laughs> um, I am, today I'm gonna be showing you my makeup look for Sinulug 2018. So you're gonna be out a lot, and the first thing that you wanna do is moisturize your skin before you put all that heavy makeup and paint on your face. I like to use this Innisfree one that I've been using for a while now, if you've been following most of my videos. And I just spread that all over my face. Next, I get my favorite True Match from L'Oreal and I'm using the, the tone N7. Then I just spread that and dab it all over my face, but I don't put too much because you know it is daytime, it's gonna be light makeup, so just like half a pump is good enough. Then I go with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I just put that very lightly all over different parts of my face and I just, you know, go ahead and dab that over as well. I don't like using so much makeup because it is the daytime I'm gonna sweat, so everything's just really light. Then I got this stick concealer pen that I got as a gift. I haven't really used this yet, so I don't really know if it's good or not, but I'm using it anyways. I felt like I wanted creamier makeup since I feel like it's gonna stick more for Sinolog and I just put that on like different parts of my face that I want to look skinny, which is basically all over my face. Mm -hmm. And then I just go ahead and spread it out and dab it. I don't want any harsh lines there, neither do you. And then I just go ahead and adore myself. In love, I just want to make a video because it's the contact lenses. We all know that Kilai is life, so it has to be paint proof and also beer proof. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline brow tattoo. And then I'm going to make the sign of the cross because the shit is hard to do. And then I'm going to ask God why he gave me crappy eyebrows and why I cannot afford microblading in the first place. So I can't afford that shit. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this Maybelline brow tattoo and then I'm gonna put it on it says to leave it on for 20 minutes so you can basically just do whatever the hell you want in between maybe stalk your ex-boyfriend and then once you think that it's dry then you can go ahead and like take that off you can just kind of feel it and wasn't quite sure if it would if I did it the right way or not but <clears throat> Maybelline brow tattoo pulled through this is only 599 pesos by the by next when your eyebrows are good and ready you can go ahead and start putting your eyeshadow on so i wanted a festive look so i went ahead and put the white base which i honestly feel like does nothing for me then i went ahead and put yellow on the inner corners of my eye and then with this i mix like this blue color and then just put that in the middle as like my transition color lastly i just got this purple shade and put it on the outer corners of my eye i kind of just like chose the most festive colors that i could think of and just hope that they would all go together Lastly, I got my Miniso Free Eyeshadow Palette and then just picked a color and put it on my waterline. Dili claro, no, it's cause lagum Sorry. Shout out to Fab Lab for my lashes. Then I just decided to tightline my waterline because I didn't feel like using eyeliner in this look. I decided to use like waterproof products in this video so I used the cheek and lip tint and just put that all over my face I was kind of in a hurry because that stuff likes to dry out really fast and then I just used it on my lips right after putting on my cheeks is that a little bit unhygienic <sighs> whatever it's my shit I just wanted to highlight every single part of my face that touched the beautiful Sun so I put it on my nose bridge in a flat case the none and then I went and put it on my the bows of my eyebrows and then I put it on my ears cuz it's my highlighter and I could put it anywhere I want to if I want to put it on my butthole I could yeah and then I just went ahead and put it on my cheeks and then I put it on my cupid's bow I think that's what they call it and then there oh yeah I love it next I just wanted to do my hair I wanted to have like space buns but I wanted to add a little umph to it. I recently went to Island Souvenirs and got myself some Sinolog swag. That At least that's what I want to call it. And then I got like these really cute dream catchers and I decided that I would turn them into like hair accessories. So I just put a rubber band through it and then stuck it on my hair. And I think it looks super cute. I'm like a hybrid of Chun-Li and Sinolog. The last step that you're gonna do is add some sunblock. I like to use flawless because it's really light on my skin And I put that as the last step because it is gonna guard my skin from the Sun I don't want to get too dark although Morena is love 
Um, yeah, but I just want to protect my skin from the harmful rays of the sun and yeah So that's the last step that I did. Oh, no, it's not the last step So I decided to just like go ahead and add some paint I had some extra stuff lying around and I just decided to put some on my face What is in look without a little cut and style fun? So I went to island souvenirs picked out a shirt and asked Paolo and Eduardo to decorate it for me And they honestly didn't do a bad job curious uncle why they decided that they wanted me to show off my big ass arms But I'm still rocking it now you can go to the streets and celebrate to new look and have people paint on that beautiful masterpiece of yours but it's all good because it's no look so i hope that you guys have fun enjoy your snow look and i'll see you guys in the next video bye by the way i have a youtube channel that just got demonetized because i don't have a thousand subscribers if you want to help a girl out subscribe to me i'm isa Peace on youtube bye